So I dropped some of my parts off to Tom this week to, to get started on the leather interior. And as, as he started looking at my dash, um, there was going to be a problem with trying to make it with one piece all the way across, one piece of leather. There's just too many offsets, curves, and so forth. So uh, he wanted to splice it. So what I did is I modified the top of it. And I'll show you what I did here. Something you might be able to use um, on your project. So I wanted an offset. So when I seam it, or when he seams it here, I can have a flush panel. So I took 1 8 inch TIG, TIG wire for TIG welding and I welded it down on top of my panel or on top of my dash. And then on the back side, I just feathered it in. I filled it and feathered it in and I resprayed it. And that gave me a nice little offset here, just a little over an eighth inch. And that, and you can see what that does for the leather. I just taped a piece of scrap leather here that he gave me. I'm going with black, but this is red. But you can see how nice that edge is there. And then I made a panel to fit in the center here. And that panel is uh, rolled around the front. I've got four studs on the back to bolt it in place. I uh, put flanges around them where the defroster comes out. And previously, the, the defroster was one, uh, is actually two. It was a long one on each side. That's how the stock 70 was. And there, there's a center part here. So obviously, I didn't want to keep that. I didn't want to have a splice going through it. So I added two more outlets in the center. And now I've got four. So that panel will hook over the front like that and then it pulls and lays right down in, in place. You can see how nice that is. Gives me a nice finished edge there. When that gets bolted down, those two are flush. So that gives him the uh, place to seam it. So I think that'll look really good. He's going to stitch it around the face of this and down along the console. Around the shifter, all this will be stitched separate pieces. And then I'm going to paint where my radio head and gauges go. And I've got aluminum going on this bezel down here. I'm going to paint the center part here, but the rest of it's going to be brushed aluminum. So anyway, that's the update for this week. I'm trying to get some of my interior parts dropped off and so he can get started on the leather and that'll all be done when I'm ready to paint that baby here hopefully it's going to cool off in the next week get these little details done first but so if you ever need to try to make a seam welding a rod on there and and Finishing it off like that works really good and it gives gives you a nice little edge. So until next week.